Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first one brand tutorial. Today's one brand tutorial is going to be on Wet n Wild, the most affordable makeup brand at the drugstore. I really love Wet n Wild and this was kind of the brand that I have like a full face of. Everything on my face right now is Wet n Wild besides my lashes. I hope you all like one brand tutorials because I kind of want to do more of these. So leave any brands you want to see it down below. Probably drugstore brands because I don't have a full face of high-end brands. <laughs> I really love this lip color. I kind of feel like my lips are a little bit crazy. A little overdrawn and also kind of a little bit uneven. But I feel like my lips are always uneven. But I love this lip color so much. I did like a gold kind of yellow with pink and i really really was inspired by like just like a look that i saw on pinterest and it was like yellow and pink and i was like that would look really cool with my wet and wild palette i really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started okay hopefully i don't have anything in my teeth because i just ate some cake so i'll be right i'm going to use these palettes again i want to use this pink and that yellow. I'm not going to say wet and wild the whole time because that's totally totally annoying and repetitive so I'm just going to start with the photo focus concealer. I'm just going to go on a little with the photo focus foundation. I haven't used this in forever because I've been trying not to use foundation. I'm just feeling I need some more coverage and lightening a bit. Then I'm going to set it with this shade from the Rosé in the Hair palette. First I'm going to go in with this shade and mix in like a dab of that shade and try and go super lightly. The second time I go in, I'm not going in with any of the warmer tones. Oh my gosh, the wind is so bad. Okay, so I think I have made this look way too cold. I'm going to go in with this shade. These are so powdery. This purpley shade actually isn't creating like any powder on the pan, but like the transition shades. I'm going to go in with some of this peachy shade just to kind of bring in a little bit of pink peachiness. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of that orange beside it. Wet n Wild is really the only brand that I have a full face of, I'm pretty sure. I mean, besides Shot Miss A. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that pink very lightly because y'all know. When I bring in my shades for the first time, I try and go super light. Last night, I didn't have anything to do, so I was watching a bunch of my old makeup looks. I really just want to do, not even like recreating them, I just want to do that same look again. Because I just really love how it looks like the yellow. Now we're going to start building up that pink in the outer corner. So I'm just going to go in with it on my finger because honestly... I don't even try and not do finger because I'm just going to go in with my finger anyway. So I'm going to go into that same brush we've been using. I've literally only used one brush for the entire blending process. E127 by AA Ready Studio. I'm going to go in with a little of the pink on that brush just so it doesn't totally blend it away. Now we're going to go in with this gold from Not a Basic peach. It's probably going to end up looking more gold than yellow, but it's fine. Oh wait, we might have some hope just one so there's nothing in the crease and just keep this whole half matte. I'm just going to go ahead and do the face. I'll just do the lashes and stuff later. The only one wild primer I have and I love is the Do It Prama. It really feels like a moisturizer but also looks like a liquid highlight. I don't think I'm going to use a foundation today. I haven't used it in a while but my favorite foundation ever is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Sorry. Yeah. This is the Photo Focus Concealer as I used on my eyeballs but I actually think I'm going to mix it with the foundation one because this is like kind of dark but also just to give it a little more coverage. That's about how much I did. Oh my goodness, I was literally like ready to look in the mirror. This feels like super thin, like this concoction. So I don't know if it's going to have too much coverage. Really the only difference in me not using foundation is I avoid like this area where my natural 
bronze in these leaves. I think I'm just gonna go in with a dot of the foundation under them just because it is kind of lighter. That powder, like, oh, I got it because a lot of people were saying, like, oh, this is the best powder because it doesn't look like powder. If you have dry skin, this is the best thing. And I was so disappointed when I tried it because literally I felt like it looked like a little matte. Like, it looked like it set my makeup, but it felt like it didn't do anything. I've scraped some of the top off um and like it still it, like it looks like powder's coming off under my eyes i am gonna use this because i haven't used this in so long this was my holy grail this is the mega glow contouring palette in dolce delight Chine. i'm gonna be using this from under my eyes and this is my bronzer if you're a new subscriber you probably haven't seen it at all but i've just been trying out new powders for once and ever since i've tried maybelline fit me loose I haven't touched it and I kind of feel bad but at the same time ever since I touched my AOA Studio Perfect I haven't touched the other one. I'm gonna try and use this AOA Studio um, F25 brush that I tried in that video um, and see if I like it better with this powder maybe with a brush. Um, since this is pressed I won't use a sponge because I know I used to use a brush all the time with this powder. As beautiful as I remember it. So I'm also just going to set my chin with that. It's so weird using a, like a brush for my powder. Now I'm going to give this powder a shot. So this is the Photo Focus Press powder. We're going to go in with it. Look, you see all that powder being kicked up and it looks like there's powder on the brush. We're going to see... If it looks slosh, feels set. Like, it literally feels sticky. I just feel like I'm using, like, so much of this powder. I feel like it's set a lot more when I use this sponge. But I'm also, like, super loading. For bronzer, as I said, I'm going to be using this side of it. My foot's literally asleep and it's tingly. I'm using this AOA Studio F. 21. I can't forget a smidge bit on the forehead. Since Wet n Wild does not have a loose powder, we're going to bake up under this contour with the pressed powder. Let's see. For blush, it's my favorite lately. This is Rose Champagne. I just love this blush brush. I know this literally isn't about AOA Studio. I've just been loving these brushes. Everyone knows that one wild blushes are super pigmented. So if you don't know like how to handle them or like if you just don't have a brush that applies them, get this AOA Studio F22. I don't think it's like available individually. I have a highlighter. I knew that I was doing something like this. So I kind of wanted to go a little more of the warm route, but I knew that that was too dark for me. So I thought I would mix these two together and this is what Wild Blossom Glow Boozy Brunch. I feel like I'm getting a little more pinky, but it's fine. Down the Mars. I'm just gonna go in with my blush brush and kind of blend it out. I'm gonna take those two highlights once again on the brow bone. This was my favorite setting spray before I discovered the Essence one, but I mean, obviously this is still really good. This just has a hairspray scent. If you're spraying it, you might just want to go over it with just a sponge afterwards because like that first time that I sprayed it, there was kind of splotches that come out and those can like set into your makeup. I think I'm just going to go straight in with the pink on the outer corner and then that golden yellow on the inner corner. Remember, Ellie's always doing her connecting wing thing. What? Do you see that? There's like a clump. What in the world? You know what? I bet that's where a little speck sat. And then I didn't blotch it off and so it all just clung. Obviously, it's not gonna stay like this. I don't have a wet oil lip liner so I just went out of the lines and my lips will ate another one. I ended up using my Alexis lashes from AOA Studio. Did my brows with some shadow. For my mascara, I used the Wet n Wild Mega Length. I'm not really too big of a fan of this. I had it, so I used it. As always, I used the Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner 
in the inner corner for the lash band. I think for the inner corner, I'm just gonna go in with Blossom Glay. For the lips, I'm gonna go in with Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Very Recognize. And I know it doesn't match the liner perfectly, but I just needed a guide. That was my one brand tutorial on Wet n Wild. If y'all want any more one brand tutorials, please leave the brand down below, especially if you know that I have a lot of products from that brand. Also, tell me down below your favorite Wet n Wild products. I mean, I literally love every product in this video. The only thing that I really still haven't figured out is this powder, and like, it's super silky. I feel like it set my makeup a lot better than I thought like it used to, you know? But at the same time, I don't feel like it did a whole lot. I feel like my skin looks really good mixing that concealer and foundation like together. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, I would love it if you subscribe. Also, please leave any video recommendations down below. Anything you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How many chins can you make? Count them. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, dearie.